Hey, hello, welcome back. In last video, we saw how to expose a matrix, a counter matrix type to show the counter of a different log level. This is very important example because with this matrix, we can check how many errors are there in a last five minutes or like ten, last 10 minutes and then we can generate an alert and then we can act on it. We can check what is wrong in the application. Now, as you know, we log all these log messages in a log file, right? So this is equally important to check the log space. If your log file or a disk uses is very high, let's say you have very less memory, then your application is at risk, right? If you are unable to log anything into the log file, then you will run into error. So this is equally important to check the log file available space or the disk uses. So in this example, we will expose a gauge matrix type to check the available space. So let's start. So hope you followed all my previous videos where I explained Prometheus architecture. So our requirement here is, as we know, Prometheus server or a data retrieval worker pull matrix from the application server. Let's say you have a Prometheus server which is running on a localhost 1990, which will crawl on the matrix, right? Which is exposed by your application. Let's say the endpoint is at a slash Prometheus. Now, as you know, Prometheus server is a pull. It will pull on your matrix, on your application matrix. So you need to put you need to insert a matrix here and for that you may need one endpoint let's say is alive which will check your disk use and write into the matrix okay but now your problem statement may be every hour i need to check the disk uses so every hour you need to call this endpoint is alive check the disk space and write into the matrix and once you write into the matrix your Prometheus server will check that matrix and if that disk space is less than 20 MB then this Prometheus server will generate an alert to your developer or ops engineer right. So our problem now is we need to call this endpoint every hour. For that you need Nginx or a Sentry on applications to call your is alive endpoint every hour. You have another solution also that you can simply schedule a method to run every hour or minute. Let's do this approach because in this approach we don't need Nginx or a Centrion. So it will be simple to implement. But if you have Nginx and Centrion in your company, then it's easy to call this endpoint every hour. And then you will push the matrix into the here and then your Prometheus server will check on that matrix. So our problem statement, in our problem statement, our solution, we will simply schedule a method to run every hour or every minute to push the matrix. Okay. So let's practically do it. This is just a simple Spring Boot application where I enabled Prometheus endpoint. So let's define one resource. I will name it as a gauge to monitor disk usage. Okay. And it will be component. So how to register a gauge matrix type? You know from our, uh, my earlier lecture, we need to define it as a private static final like a log. And then it will be of type gauge. Let's name it as a gauge gauge dot sorry build dot it has a name and help so if you go here you can see it has a name and help same like a counter so name name is the logical name so let's say log file available space and help is the help for the another user to let them know what it is about log available spaces in bytes okay and then register it so 
gauge is registered so what we will do just define one method public void status which will check the status of a disk okay meaning which will check the uses of the space and uh, uses of the disk okay and here just i will do system dot out dot print line to let everybody know or we know that our application is running that means this method is called so now our statement was our problem was we need to crawl or we need to check every r and we decided that we are not going to use nginx or centurion we will just use a schedule scheduling right so spring framework has a scheduled annotation and here you can see this has a fixed rate initial delay and fixed delay so initial delay means at first delay and fixed delay is after how many minutes or how many how much time we need to check so let's go back and here define fixed delay so fixed delay i am defining it to 10000 okay and initial delay is to 30 milliseconds this is the 10 second and this is first is a 30 seconds okay so after every 10 seconds it will check us so let's define one method which will do the actual logic which will check the log available space okay now as that available space will be uh, we need to monitor we need to check that available space of a file so let's define the path i will use java.neo file function uh, path dot get provide the file name currently i my log file is at this location so i am providing this file you can take it from the application dot property file also normally uh, in spring boot application we have a log file name mentioned in this location but just i am hard coding it okay and then check the storage so file storage file equal to null and normally we draw all this function in try catch to avoid io exception so file equal to files yeah files dot get file store from the path you can see whenever you call this function you have to catch io exception because if file path is empty or file is not available then it will give error and it has a very simple method which will return the available bytes as file dot get you can see usable space this is very good in the file neo okay neo packages and then we what we will do we will set gauge to that value simple right so what we are doing just checking so you can use you or you can do by your own way what we need to do just we need available bytes how many available bytes are available how much space is available at your disk in your disk okay and we set it here in the gauge so this way that bytes can be less or more that's the reason we use gauge right we cannot use counter because in counter is only increasing in gauge it's increasing or decreasing so that's it right and we will call this method here simple so let's run this application okay application started at 8080 let's go to browser let's refresh you can see log file available space 00 because we defined scheduler here you can see and which will run after 30 second first time so let's wait for 30 second 
it will print a line like I am running. You can see I am running and then go here refresh you can see this is the available space but let's check in the prometheus server now my prometheus server is running at localhost 9090 which is default okay and here if i go i can check the targets you can see localhost 8080 prometheus so i configured this prometheus server to listen on my uh, this matrix endpoint okay I can show it in the future videos okay not this is not in this video I will show in the future video how to uh, listen to the different endpoints how to configure alert manager and everything but for as of now you can see this is just the endpoint where I'm listening so let's go to classic UI okay and here simply you can just copy this line or the type okay just type paste here and you can see execute once you execute you get the value so what is this value let's do bytes to mb and when i paste it here you can see this is 19.6 megabytes so as currently in my c drive i have around 19 GB available that's the reason it is showing 19 GB available space practically what we need to do we need to check that if this log dot file available space is less than 20 MB so 20 MB means how much so you go here megabytes and I need 20 MB so that means 701 one two three four five six seven okay this many bytes so you will def you define alert like this if log file space less than 20 mb then generate a alert but we are going to check that in future videos so this is just your alert so when i you do execute you can see there's a nothing but if you see something here that means one of your disk uses is less than 20 mb and then your alert manager which is configured in the prometheus server will send alert to your uh, ops or to you okay but for now there is a no load disk space so it will not generate an alert so currently you can see this is the instance my instance local city 18 and it has this much memory so we successfully defined a gauge matrix type to check the disk uses so this is our problem step in next video we will check some example for summary